What's up Cinephiles? Welcome back to the channel. For today's video, I decided to do something different. I'll be reviewing a Netflix documentary movie because I'm in the mood for something shocking and thought-provoking. I gave Seaspiracy a shot. I believe that's the proper way to say it, not Seaspiracy, though I think it's a missed opportunity there to title this film into Conspiracy. Right, Cinephiles? Anyway, this controversial documentary, directed and narrated by British filmmaker Ali Tabrizi, exposes the devastating effects of the industrial fishing to marine life as well as the corrupt practices of these multi-billion dollar companies under the seafood industry. So there are a lot of things that I don't know. I bet that there are a lot of things that you can learn from this subject matter. And yeah, before I continue with this review, I invite you guys, if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, hit that subscribe button and give me a like as well. We do weekly reviews of movies and TV shows, so if you're down for that type of content, especially the Netflix content, go subscribe to us. I know right now we're in the midst of pandemic and if you don't want any additional layer of ecological anxiety in your lives, don't watch this movie. Though this might be something that you don't want to watch, this is something that you definitely need to watch. So I know conflicting, right? But there will be a lot of graphic and lingering images of violence against animals. So if you don't have the stomach for this type of scenes, I won't force you to watch this. And frankly speaking, I don't think people care much about fish compared to other animals like cows or other land animals. Anyway, that's just the perception that I get. But you know, we have to take in consideration that fish are sentient beings too, and they can feel pain too, you know, contrary to what other people might believe, you know, might foolishly believe. You know, the saying that ignorance is a bliss if you wanna remain ignorant in these issues, personally, I don't want. So I've been trying to think of a way how to structure this review without spoiling anything. Unfortunately, I don't think I can do that because there are some claims here in the movie that I need to mention so I can give a, you know, as detailed analysis as I can on the subject matter. Obviously, I'm not an expert, so take everything that I'm going to say here with a huge grain of salt. I guess I'm going to put out my rating as early as now and say go stream this movie. This is a definitely urgent subject matter. Maybe not as urgent as what you think right now, but this is something that we're going to face in the near future as the movie arguments it. I have to put out though that you need to exercise your judgment and you know maybe do extra research because there are some things here that I don't necessarily agree with. Again, this is a non-expert opinion. There are more knowledgeable people out there. But yeah, here's my take. So since I can't promise that I won't be mentioning spoilers, anyway, this is not the type of movie where there's a strict structure. This is not a true crime documentary. Think of this more as an informative exercise. These are just mostly facts. Facts question mark that the movie lays out so this is kind of an investigative reporting done by again by Ali Chabrisi and in here some of these interviews he's conducting them in covert and you can sense that he's unwelcome that he's being refused by these interviews he even joined this some sort of a militarized campaign group during a nighttime raid of illegal fishers from China. So let's just say that this documentary is well researched and informative but yeah normally in these types of documentary the hook there is to lay out the shocking facts first so you can grab the attention of your viewers and these documentaries they tend to be one-sided at times and I can sense in here because he mostly interviews the activist and the you know ecologist it's not necessarily giving a bigger picture here because i'm sure that there are other documentaries here that will touch the specific subjects here with a deeper approach anyway let's go and discuss some of the claims that were presented in this movie okay number one there's about the plastics most environmental campaigns their focus is eliminating the use of plastics because eventually these plastics will wind up in the oceans and will harm our marine life however the we have laid out a research here that shows it actually only represents 0.03 percent 
of the waste that is found in the oceans. More than half of it is actually coming from the fishing. We're talking about mass fishing. When you dissect one of the whales here, you can find actual big nets inside. I did not expect that some of these fishing nets can cast a size as big as a cathedral. A lot of shocking facts in there. Another one is the dolphin safe labels, which is mostly found in tunas, meaning that no dolphins are harmed while fishing. That in itself is not necessarily true because A, some of the regulators are not necessarily there for most of the time, and B, the systems can be flawed, people can be bribed. Some of the facts that should not be shocking to you, but you know, they blatantly use these stickers like they're just handing this for free all in the name of capitalism and then to the subject of the shark killings Ali here travels around the world in one of his destinations he goes to Japan and he goes covert as he documents this Japanese fishing company hunting for sharks all for the sake of shark fins they're sold on the market one person even says here that they don't necessarily have the nutritional content but they're sold anyway because it's an elite status symbol for when you have shark fin soup and I kind of felt guilty because back in college I eat a lot of shark fin dumplings and then Ali and his team also travels to Thailand where they discovered some of the humans slavery practices done there all in the name of fishing so there are a lot of upsetting facts here especially when you came to realize that our governments eventually subsidize these fishing industries and this fishing industry will continue with its bad practices all over the world if there's no management intervention as an individual i initially felt small i initially felt powerless and then by the end of the movie the filmmaker and the other experts that are being interviewed here kind of fell to a conclusion that the best way to solve this problem all the negative effects here in the aquatic life is by stop eating fish and i felt like that's a bit of an oversimplistic solution to a complex problem that they have presented here i don't need to be an expert in saying this but fishing industries are complex there's small scale fishing and then there's large scale fishing i have to agree on what the documentary points out that there's no absolute definition when it comes to sustainable fishing but to say that sustainable fishing can't be attained it will be like undermining the efforts of all the government agencies and all of the local fishermen who are practicing responsible fishing and i know not everyone who has seen this movie will stop eating fish after because like me a i can't make a promise that i can't do because i love eating fish more so than eating pork and beef so fish is one of my primary proteins and i know a lot of billions of people rely on that source and also we're talking about stripping people out of their livelihoods so i think the best solution here that i wish the movie could have stressed more is to be more conscious on where you get that fish i would really suggest to go for the local fishermen if you can buy the fish directly from them uh, me and my family always practice to buy our fish in the wet market so i think that is a good thing because these low level fishermen they don't really practice mass fishing as large as these companies do so there you go you can mitigate though the movie also proposes other methods to sustain a lifestyle without eating fish and that's eating plant-based seafood personally i don't think our country here most asian countries are ready for that type of food yet though you can certainly adapt that lifestyle i'm not saying being a vegan here won't help our seas i think to some extent that will help us but let's just say that this fishing industry will still continue to do what they're practicing regardless you consume fish or not that this fishing industries needed to have some corrective methods on an administrative managerial level which are clearly outside your bounds as a regular person so i guess in my own little way in choosing where to buy my fish that is the best option for me right now don't get me wrong i'm not saying that this movie ends with a counterproductive message though one can certainly interpret it that way this movie lays out figures and proofs which are simply hard to dismiss so this issue remains to be urgent the movie even set a timeline that if these bad practices continue to happen in the fishing industries, we can expect virtually zero marine life by 2048. So that's a pretty bold and threatening statement there. Anyway, I urge you guys to go check this movie on Netflix. There's a lot of persuasive facts here 
and you can see that the filmmaker is really impassioned about this subject. I have to just say that realize that sometimes solutions are not a one-size-fits-all. Practice your judgment and do extra research what you can. Once in a while, it's really good to see environmental documentaries like this because it's really thought-provoking, especially for me. I don't really watch much of this, so I was glad that I get to watch this. So I guess that's it for my review slash reaction, a bit of a spoilery one for Seaspiracy. I don't really usually do this documentary reviews just because that in these types of documentary, I'm not necessarily criticizing the filmmaking techniques here. I'm more talking about the subject matter here, which I am clearly not an expert of, but I hope I did my best and overall help in raising awareness for this really pressing subject matter. Let me know if you agree or disagree in any of my takes. I would be happy to hear from you guys. Also, if there are any suggestions that you would like to drop in there because I need to watch more of this stuff. Thank you so much guys for watching. If you enjoyed watching this video, hit that like button and subscribe to us for weekly content. Till then guys, see you on the next one.